Hey there, guys. My name is Brandon, a.k.a. Suns Geek, and if it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it. That is right, you guys. Before we talk about this Phoenix Suns Atlanta Hawks game, make sure to Hulk smash that like button and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it, and I am bringing you another Phoenix Suns post-game reaction. Keep in mind that I'm not going to be breaking down the entire game, just going to be giving you guys my thoughts, my takeaways, the stats, and the facts. And I have a question for you guys. Was this the most entertaining Phoenix Suns game? of the young season so far i mean i'll tell you this i wasn't really frustrated in this game which is a really good sign this was a really entertaining back and forth game let's talk about it no deandre Ayton to start this game javel mcgee was poked in the eye early in this game i think jay crowder had two quick fouls but frank the tank took over he was excellent in the first half the suns had really good ball movement a lot of open shots. It was a 13 to 7 start. And then all of a sudden the Suns started missing a lot of shots. It was they were getting a lot of good looks. It's just they kind of relied a little bit too much on the three ball, in my opinion. Just missing a lot of open looks. It was just one of those nights for the Phoenix Suns. It was a close game, a lot of back and forth, a lot of lead changes. At halftime, it was 59 to 58. Devin Booker had 21 points on 8 for 11 shooting at halftime. And like I said, Frank Kaminsky, 14 points. And it was really just his energy and just him moving the ball and finding guys and just playing hard. He was great. The rest of the Phoenix Suns at halftime had 24 points. Trey Young had 13 and 5. Uh, both teams were basically identical in terms of field goal shooting uh, at halftime. Uh, 44% for the Hawks, 46% for the Phoenix Suns. But as we're going to talk about later, the three-point shooting was miserable. The Suns were 7 for 25 from three at halftime, which is good enough for 28%. The end of the third quarter, you guys, uh, Atlanta was up 98 to 86. Devin Booker had 32 points at the end of the third quarter. Uh, but my man, Flex from Jersey, he really summed it up perfectly, you guys. He said, you can't go with Cam Payne, Landry Shamit, Cam Johnson, and Abdel Nader, and Frank Kaminsky to end the third uh, with the Hawks making their run with their first unit. So he basically said that, you know, the Hawks had their first unit in, the Suns basically had their second unit in, and we just got stomped. It was kind of a weird third quarter for the Phoenix Suns. The Hawks closed out the third quarter on an 18 to 6 run, and the Hawks shot 64% in that third quarter. And you guys, in my opinion, Players like Cam Johnson really need to get it going on the offensive end. And in a way, our second unit, our bench, needs to get going. Chris Paul had that one defensive play on DeAndre Hunter where he trapped him in the corner. Great defensive play. Devin Booker hit some big-time shots late in this game. The game was tied 113-113. Jay Crowder had that great defensive possession late in the game. And then for some reason, Bogdanovich took an extremely unnecessary three. It was like he was trying to win the game. It was a deep three and an air ball. That was like a rookie mistake from a guy who was not a rookie. And the Phoenix Suns go on to win this game 121 to 117. Devin Booker was huge in this game. 38 points, 6 rebounds, 14 for 21 from the field. Like I said, Frank Kaminsky had a really good first half. Didn't really have too great of a second half, but he still had 16 points. And you guys... Really, without Frank Kaminsky, in a way, I don't think we win that Pelicans game. And I don't think we win that Rockets game. He has been big off the bench, and he deserves more minutes. Chris Paul, the point god, is kind of doing something strange to start the season. He's kind of quiet on offense in terms of scoring to start the game, but then he really picks it up in the second half. And I think I'm okay with that. He is continuing to be the assist god. I think he's leading the league in assists. Someone correct me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. 16 points, 13 assists, 6 rebounds. Uh, Trey Young was great tonight, really just exchanging buckets with Devin Booker all night. 31 points, 13 assists. John Collins had 26 and 10. The Suns trailed by 12 in the fourth quarter and then were down eight with less than five minutes to go. They've now won four games straight after starting the season one and three. The Suns in this game shot 51%. I think they shot 32% from three. The Hawks shot 43%. 
uh, from the field. So that is it, you guys. That was my post-game reaction. Those are my takeaways. This was arguably the best game of the year. And in my opinion, one of the games that was not frustrating to watch. I feel really good about this game. The Phoenix Suns are winning. Devin Booker is coming alive, and it is great to see. So as always, guys, please leave me your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. Make sure to Hulk smash that like button, and please subscribe for everything Phoenix Suns. If it has to deal with the Phoenix Suns, I'm going to make a video about it, and I'll see you guys next time.